My name is Jafet Ezekiel Maichibi. I'm a sickle cell warrior and I've been battling this situation for a long time now. I'm in pain and I need the public to assist me. Um, I'll say I've known pain from quite a tender age. From let's say from when I could detect perceived pain and keep a memory of it. Um I was born on the 28th of February, 1989. Um, my parents got married in the 70s. There was no science, no tech, no awareness then to talk about all these things. So I'm not going to say I'm a mistake or a result of ignorance. I love myself and I don't blame anyone for what's happening to me. Fast forward to battling the whole situation. Um, I had the opportunity to go to school, though it was it had frivolities on and off. So my major attack that brought me to this level, being on crutches, struck me in October 2014. I'm a student of Nasara City University, 400 level psychology. It's been a journey of, how do I say it? A journey of undefined pains, pain that I cannot describe, battling sickle cell. Because I'm sure by now, most of, let's say, half of the population know about sickle cell and what actually it is. Fast forward to my university days, I started with statistics. BSc statistics. I got admission two thousand and nine to Nasarasi University Kefi. Year one, year two was well okay. Getting to year three, I was down. I was seriously sick. You know, I missed like a whole semester. Coming back, my everything has changed. So I had an understanding level coordinator who suggested that. It's not as if I'm not doing well, but he advised I do a change of course. Or I go to a department that is less stressful because of the stress in mathematics and all that. It was a tough decision, but we took it. So instead of being in 300, I changed to psychology. So I was demoted back to 200. The 200 level struggle through getting to 400 just got my project topic mm. I came home to inform my family because graduating from the university has always been a dream for me like I always say ah, all this stress you know, you know I'm from a family of six four boys two girls we are two sickle cell patients warriors actually no patient please okay. uh, the third Jordan is SS, then me the sixth, the last SS. But Errol, he's doing okay now. He's married. At least he's settled. He has had his own fair share of battling sickle cell. So, so um, one thing I thank God is a supportive family battling this burden. My family, most especially mom, I call her my superhero. You know, you know how mothers can be. So, my dad studied psychology also to his doctorate level. So, I came home to get some materials and then go back to Kefi to commence my project. And getting home, I think I came on the Friday. Told them, okay, this is what is happening. So, you people should prepare a cow that you kill for me and all that. And you know, it started with a mild fever, just something mild. The evening I told my mom, I said, I don't really understand I'm having this funny feeling. And she did the necessary thing. She said, observe the situation and try and rest. Which I did. And Saturday I woke up, I was feeling a bit better. And I was to go back on Sunday. So in the evening on Saturday, I decided to take a nap. When I woke up, I wanted to take a leak. I just ease myself. So 
getting up from the bed, like a step or two, and then I started observing this squeaky sound on my left hip. Ah, uh, by step, you it squeaks, and uh, I took it as a normal maybe I needed to stretch my muscles and all that. So, funny thing is, that night I never slept. I called my mom immediately and explained to her. And all she could do was just, you know, take the normal painkillers, you know, observe the situation. Throughout that night, it was the beginning of my journey being in pain from that very day till this very moment. I've been in pain that I've had to live with it, get used to it. Uh, I don't see that anything again. Like I've learned to just accept the situation. So I could not go back to school till date. Um, we went to the hospital. I liked surgeries in Guagualada. Did an X-ray, and when the film came out, the reaction on the doctor's face sh really showed that there was trouble. You know, he was more of like, ah. I was confused. Uh, he explained that this is AVN, a vascular necrosis of the hip, as my hip was generally damaged. All of a sudden, there was no sign, there was no pain, there was nothing. It just brought me down one article. You know, so the hip and the ball and socket was eating the femur, was eating the acetabulum, was eating up due to lack of uh, supply of oxygen, you know, that causes uh, the tissues to die. That was the beginning. I had AVN, and we were told that surgery, hip replacement, that's the only thing they can do, hip replacement surgery, quite an expensive surgery. But before then, I was battling with sickle cell ankle ulcer. I had that, I think this is the seventh year now, I think I'm carrying this wound. I had that in my university, but it was mild. I was controlling it. So uh, we were told that we can't go ahead with the surgery because of the wound. Uh, infection might rise from the wound to the surgery site. So we have to cater for the wound first. You know, so I was placed on antibiotics, treatments, painkillers. Came back home, I was confined on a wheelchair. I think I was confined on a wheelchair all through 2015 to, Ju to June 2016. I was on a wheelchair. So, fast forward to, because currently, let me mention what I'm going through. I have a dislodged, replaced hip right now that causes me excruciating pain, like every day of my life, every second, I battle this pain. And then I have a fused knee, an ankylosed knee, can't articulate my knee 360 degrees is fixed and then i have ankle ulcer battling this and then along the way another ulcer came out on the right leg so these are currently my conditions i'm battling all these are painful conditions this knee the pain from the hip you know was so excruciating that i got used to a particular comfort zone like that's the only position i feel comfort i can sleep I do get once, but most times, upkeep, like this. okay, hello, there. please take this 10,000 for your upkeep, you know, and all that. Um, Mike Ikoku was my first huge donor. He gave me 200,000 way back last year. I can't remember exactly when. He was the one that did a major donation, you know. The GoFundMe has been stagnant, and the response has not really yielded anything positive. But I still appreciate the little I get that helps me get materials for my wound dressing and medications I need. Mm -hmm. Honestly, I don't know, but I think it's God, because this major attack changed my whole perspective about the whole thing. It taught me how to be bold. How to accept the situation, you know, embrace it, observe, understand, and know how you conquer it. It broadened my horizon, my thoughts, 
And funny thing is, it's like a gift was embedded in me when all this started. I just observed that when I pick up a pen or I start typing, the words just start coming. Like it's God's grace. They just start coming. And from it, I find joy. You know, I've had a couple of warriors who DM me to say, like, I inspire them, I give them encouragement. Like, I have a lot of them. I belong to a group also. May do not massacre self foundation. Rabbi is the uh, um, uh, president there. She has been awesome too. So they have been supportive too. So that's where we communicate most times. We understand ourselves. A group of warriors, because I'm a warrior, you know. I refuse to be called a patient. Like, I'm no more a patient. I'm a warrior. So the cheerfulness, it just comes. You know? I've learned to forget the pain. Like, I just believe there's a brighter day ahead. Because God doesn't allow anything to happen to you without a reason. You understand? So I just always pray and I thank my mom, my whole family who are supportive and always prayerful. So they support me. And I have an awesome friend, Godwin, who is here. He's been by me like since 2015, January till this very moment. So um, one of the things that keeps me going is the music, you know. You know, I think I'll do verse two of um, "Blessed Child." Uh, like when I say I'm sick, rappers think it's just a metaphor for all the sick warriors who you think I did this for. We do believe in miracles. That is what we're waiting for. Okay, that's good. <laughs> that's good. That's good. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Very my name is Jafet Ezekiel. My TV. I'm a sickle cell warrior and. I've been battling this situation for a long time now. I'm in pain and I need the public to assist me, you know, raise funds for me to be able to carry out my surgeries. And I think three surgeries, I was told. Uh, I need them to help me raise funds so I can bounce back to life and finish up my programming school and then go into awareness creation fully. For your assistance, please. Um, my account details are 011-563-2391, GT Bank Savings Account, and my phone number is 070-6166-8414. Thank you very much. I really appreciate it.